and then yeah, nothing more um humbling than having to start all over again, you know, not from ground zero, but pretty close to it. So it's been, uh, last couple of years for me have been, um, just a lesson, a life lesson in humility and, you know, and taking, and taking that, um, challenge head on, you know what I'm saying? I've had a couple of people tell me like, well, you can't come out of a band and then have a successful, it's like never been done. Like nobody's had a big solo career after being a major career in a band. So, I heard that like two or three times and I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go then. Answer the bell. Let's go. Yeah. 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 That is true. I mean, it's like the example a lot of people are aware of due to the movie, but, uh, uh, queen. Yeah. Freddie Mercury. They broke up. Yeah. And Freddie kind of tries to do his own thing. Why, why go the solo route? Like what, what happened beyond the way with you and, and BK that's like to where Florida Georgia line can't be forever. Yeah. Good question. I mean, for me, it was, it was really unexpected. Um, uh, but BK came to me and said, man, I'm really feeling like I, w- I want to do a solo thing. And I'm like, really? I'm like, we were just getting out of our first deal. We were kind of in a sweet spot that we had worked for 10 years to get to. And I'm like, bro, like, why don't we just ride this, ride this thing out for like five more years, 10 more years. Mm. And then we can do the solo thing or whatever. But, yeah. uh, but again, like I wanted to support him. He, he was adamant. Like, no, nah, now's my time. I, I really need to do this for myself. And I'm like, well, Hey, whatever you need to do, bro. Like, what do you want from me? He's like, I just want support. So I'm like, all right, you got it, bro. Like we've had an incredible ride. If this is where it's going to go, like let's do it and, and, and crush it. And you never know, maybe it'll bring us back together and we can have a reunion tour or whatever. But, uh, but it was, he, he definitely initiated the whole thing from the beginning. And it kind of, when I say caught me off guard, it wasn't that we had never mentioned it before. It's just one of those things where I didn't think then I didn't think it was going to happen then. You know what I mean? Coming into a deal. Did. Like yeah, you just, said, just coming into a spot to where. Yeah, just in a sweet spot. Just gotten out of our first deal. Able to kind of negotiate where we want to go from there and have a lot of freedom. And we're in a great place. Um, but yeah, for him, that was the right time. And, and for me, I was like, well, I'll just. Uh, again, I kind of thought, well, I'll just stay in town and be a songwriter. That sounds like a fun gig, you know, just 11 to 3 life and hang out with yeah. the fam. At yeah. that point, I had we had just had our third kid. So I was pretty uh you know in the deep end on being a dad and figuring all that out so i was pretty preoccupied um but then a year or so later i was like man i really miss like making records i miss being on tour i miss the whole aspect of the artist life and so uh so yeah then i met i met my manager and felt really supported i was like man i'll dive back into this and and see what i can do on and again like i said hurt i heard that it couldn't be done a couple times and i was like man i'd like to try yeah so uh so yeah just sort of timing and life in general just sort of led us in that direction and uh something that now i'm really grateful for it's been a lot of fun rebuilding it's been a lot of fun like it's incredible doing something with your friend and having a partner but taking the dynamic back to the basics of just like me getting to be the leader that i'd like to be and um getting to do it on my own and getting to kind of kind of build culture around uh you know, the type of culture that I want to, that I want to build. Um, mm-hmm. and you got to think about it. When we started FGL, we were like 23 years old, bro. Like we, like yeah. we were just young, dumb and on a mission, you know what I'm saying? And learning as we were going, now I get to kind of take all that and kind of rebuild with that in mind and a little bit more maturity and a little bit more, uh, gratitude and humility and all that mm-hmm. makes for, uh, a f- makes it for a fun a fun ride when you're first like presented with the hey i want to go on my own solo route like is your first reaction like, you. oh i'm gonna support you or is it the natural <laughs> yeah like my yo, first I'm reaction my- you're just like hey busting we're not i'm, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm not gonna start my own podcast you, i'm just thinking what what's going on it'd be like me going to you right now be like hey well i know it's a contract year but honestly i'm <laughs> yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah. doing my we're own open thing a year now. but yeah and you're just like You'd be a little confused. Your As your friend, I need your support. And you're just like, okay, I support you. He's like, shit. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, it, I, yeah. it's got I mean, and with the third easy, kid on the way. Like, yeah. The human nature, like anybody who essentially, like if you're together for 10 years, like there's a level of divorce. Like you guys yeah. are in a marriage essentially. Yeah. And then you're not the one approaching the person about leaving. Right. There's got to be some type of like, you know, are you all the work I did? Bro, all of this, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I supported you. Like where we've came from, where I we've been. Those burgers, 
Right. Yeah, yeah, I I those those burgers. Burgers. yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just the toppings guy. Right. Yeah. Bro, right. There was definitely uh, a period of time where I was just like confused and I'm just mm -hmm. like, bro, like why? Like why now? And I even told him we had good conversations around it. Like even like being real vulnerable, I'm like, bro, is it not like I I feel like I'm not enough for you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. honestly, it felt like a divorce where you're right. like, bro. And BK had this thing where he's like, no, I still want to do Florida Georgia Line. No, I, still I, love just, you. I just want to do the solo thing, oh, too. You want an open relationship. And I had to tell him, I go, bro, from an emotional standpoint, I said, I know this is dramatic, but this is what it feels like. It feels like we're in a marriage and everything's great and we love the benefits, but you want to go sleep with the neighbors and come home at night and me be cool with it and just like jump back in bed and everything's cool and blah, blah, blah. And, and I said, emotionally, it feels like that, bro. Like I can't, I can't do both. I said, I'm going to give you the choice, but it's either Florida Georgia line or solo career. Mm -hmm. Cause also I don't have capacity to like, do two careers and i said it's also like super it's gonna get super sticky like when we're writing songs who are we writing for when we're when we got two show offers an fgl yeah. day and a solo date like who, what are we taking here so like right. i'm just like i don't even logistically see how that would work much less emotionally so like unless bk opens for both of you right like unless, how's it gonna unless what do you we open one of writing like who's or hey that's a banger are we thinking we're gonna use that mm -hmm. like yeah, yeah one thing i did know is like yo it takes every ounce of creativity and and energy that we got to keep this thing going and to, we've always poured all of our energy into this so like to think that we can only pour half of our energy into this and expect it to do anything is a little bit naive and then i also told him i'm like bro if you want to be a solo artist you don't deserve to give yourself 50 percent, mm -hmm. and i don't deserve 50 percent of you so it's either you give me 100 percent, or you give yourself 100 percent of you so you can go crush it but yeah. there's no like we're not just gonna half-ass both things so so for yeah. me it was that's kind of where my, that was my one boundary. You know, I was like, yo, I'm all about it, dude. Like whatever you need to do, but here's my boundary. And mm -hmm. so kind of gave him the choice and he chose to go do the solo thing. And at the time, like you said, I was kind of like, man, like, dude, like this sucks, bro. Like mm -hmm. we built, look what we've built. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Together, like you and me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, there was definitely some weeks of kind of like, healing i would say you know what i'm saying like we had talks with therapists and life coaches and we kind of sussed it all out yeah they were separate together that's awesome yeah uh, it was legitimately a marriage yeah like, the more you talk about it it's like yo and i hate the, always therapy right 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 i compared it to that quite a bit because other than the sexual side of things it was very similar to our marriages where you're yeah. just like you know it's a commitment it takes work it takes dedication it's you know it's all the things when it comes to a partnership uh, especially at that capacity, you know, so it was, it's been interesting to navigate, but it's also been fun and look in hindsight. Now I'm like grateful for where we're at, mm -hmm. grateful for that ride, grateful for the new, you know, ride that we're on and, uh, you know, wouldn't have ever done it if he hadn't initiated it. So at, at the end of the day, I kind of just I'm sort of grateful that he did, you know?